Okay, so not the first person to do this, and that's play left-handed as a right-handed golfer. Um, but there's a couple of reasons I do that. One main reason, okay, you can argue golf is very one-sided, so for mobility, maybe you know, the odd swing the other way um, might help your body. Um, you occasionally might need to flip a right-handed club upside down and hit it. I think I've done that once in the competition, um, so that's very, very rare. Uh, the main reason for me is to empathise a little bit with the players I coach. So right-handed at slower speeds could probably demo most positions and most movements. Um, and exaggerate things or put it myself in position where I want to be to show them certain, something that's not my normal swing. Um, and then when you do that, sometimes you think, oh, why can't I do this? This is easy. Um, obviously, there's things in my right-handed swing that I would like to improve, but certain movements you think might be quite straightforward in the backswing. Um, doing it for a number of years can sort of repeat that, certainly at slow speeds. Um, but when you go left-handed, for myself anyway, and it's a new skill for me now, sometimes a simple movement, as you'll discover very soon, is actually a lot harder than, you know, which we knew anyway, a lot harder than uh, you might think. So now all of a sudden, like, hang on a minute, well, actually turning more is quite tough. You know, I've got less mobility this way to rotate. So um, you discover a lot of things about yourself as a player, the other way around. Um, but also for me, like I say, to empathise a little bit with uh, newer golfers or any golfer learning a new skill, really. So I warmed up a bit already. Um, didn't go well. What I have discovered is, um, which I sort of knew anyway, I've done some left-handed shots before, that my bad shot is to the right with my club face. Um, so there's a bit of a low hook going on, so I've got to play for that. This first hole out of bounds on the right, I'll be aiming down the left, I'm assuming it's coming back. Um, the driver's probably going to stay in the bag. I might get out to show you a swing, but it's largely going to stay in the bag. That's not gone well. And it's the sort of thing you might do 18 higher handicap if it's not, or even lower handicap if it's not working on the course. Uh, no point in me hitting driver 150 yards off the toe when this hybrid's going 200 yards, so on some shots. So let's have a go. So aiming down the left hand side. Um, and we'll see if I can get a at least trap man left handed handicap. So we'll do part one today, or at least play a few holes with you here today. Let's see how we do. Okay, it wasn't that straight in the warm-up. We'll take that. Right, we're off. Good start. So, we have 166 left. Now, these are Maverick clubs, so they're quite strong. So we're hitting, we're going to hit 7 iron here. And not at the stage left-handed where I've got way too much about the wind, which is very small anyway, but uh, it looks okay. Trouble down the left hand side, haven't hit it left in the warm up at all yet. So um, let's see. I've even got like a bit of a feel pre shot left handage, so um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's the bad one. No. Oh, no. After a promising start, that's not gone anywhere. Checking the ball wasn't cracked there, but <coughs> no, just a crap shot. Okay, right, recovery time now. I might have a lie. I might have to play a bit of a low one here. So we'll go with that. Again, so it's all these in-between shots. I've not really practiced left-handed. So I've got to trust my body is going to do the right thing. So it's definitely low. And he's overdone that. So a little chip on the green. That's what we go. It really does make me as a player and a coach think what I'm trying to do in the swing here. So no idea for distance control yet, left-handed, because speed's very random. I haven't really got much of a lofty club, apart from this approach wedge, which is uh, not very lofty for this set. So be a bit clever, get the face open, try and land it a bit softer. <laughs> so even organise my, organise my feet the other way around, which is quite weird. I've played it quite nicely. Sit. Oh, come on. Surprisingly, short game is not horrific. Left-handed. So like I say, we get left-handed handicap, which is quite fun to do. One part bogey, take that after the second shot and the third shot. Um, and we'll see how it goes. But again, for me, it's putting myself in a position of learning a new skill, like um, a newer player would be. Let's try um, one more hole. So again, right-handed with fancy having a drive at the green there. 
no point in getting out the driver. Oh, so I would, didn't I? I think I'm going to play one more hole with you. So uh, let's have a look. Right, I'm definitely going lower T because the higher T, like no face control whatsoever or any idea where the club head was. So um, we'll see what happens here. Now, it's definitely the wrong club, but just for your entertainment, let's try it. Oh, that's the sub. There you go. Right, the driver. Oh, I've done well. The driver needs some work. Won't lie. That's gone almost sideways. So that might not make an appearance if I'm working on getting a handicap. Oh, I've got it down the wrong fairway now. Let's try this one. Right. So see why it's hybrids off the tees. For now, work in progress. I can definitely play that one. In left-handed, if I started golf again, would I be left-handed? Don't know. Right, let's try a 147, a bit out of the rough. Going to be a 99. There's certain things I can definitely do better this way around. And I can right hand. I feel I'm better at almost better at impact. My right handed swing tends to get a little bit far on the right foot, a little bit this way, not so much this way around. Whether it's just lack of mobility, possibly that. Now, most players will communicate to their brain with their dominant hand. So I'm right handed. And when it comes to things like club face control, whether that be cricket, golf, whatever, uh, only two handed sport, where your bottom hand, your right hand dominant hand, is on the club almost or the bat, almost less. But it's just more of a fine control to uh, change the club face. So it might be like, Again, for me, this made sense originally where you get cricketers, certainly, that would bat traditionally right-handed, but then bowl left-handed. But for me at the time, having your dominant hand on top of the club sort of made sense because going back to right-handed, my left hand being up here with the glove on it is in contact with the club more than my right would be. But later research like, suggests that it's just a fine movement that you need. So arguably, might be preference, but arguably uh, having the dominant hand on the bottom might be better. For club face control, but we'll say anyway. Let's try and get over these trees and somewhere near the green. Oh, is that right one again? It's over. Right. So, if I was uh, teaching myself, which I will do a little bit, my practice will be sorting that one out and uh, learn how to hit a driver. Yeah, that's what I mean by really empathising with people that can't hit drivers because I haven't even hit a club face yet with a driver. Oh no, it was going well the last short shot, and that's not so good. And again, like feel like an 18 20 handicapper here where a couple of great shots thinking, oh, golf season, I've got it, I've cracked it, and then do that. Shanked it out nicely, that's fine. Sit. And we're on. Other things I noted, really gone into locking grip, playing this way around, normally overlap. Overlapping feels horrific this way. Can't even fathom where that would go. So things like changing hold with players I work with, and for me, right handed, we could probably hold it how I wanted. Wouldn't make much difference. Left handed, because it's completely new. What is that? I'm probably holding to up the club as well, I've just noticed. So all these little things really help like the understanding. With players. Um, oh, God, it's tempting par three, let's do it. Little nine iron. Try a little, let's try a little fade into this one. Definitely got that in my locker, surely. Again, this little fade might be a good practice to help the club face stay open. So. Do I need to hit a fade here? Probably not, but let's have a go. Pretty much a straight pull. So again, club face control going to be a thing for me, left-handed, and hitting the driver. But in the meantime, let's see what handicap it gives me first of all. So, hope this video was somewhat useful. Just shows that us coaches do understand the pain you're in sometimes of making changes. Oh, that was good. Come on, Tremor. I felt right. Oh, he's pulled it long. Oh. Oh, no, he's not. Well judged. Absolutely no fill of distance control yet whatsoever. Anyway, um, 
work in progress, but hope you enjoyed it. We understand your pain. We'll see how this goes.